Well, what happens a lot of times is I will sit down and meet with people before they make a decision, before they're deciding to do something. And um, they'll ask questions is, will I save money on my taxes if I buy a home? And the answer is usually yes, because it opens up a form Schedule A. Schedule A lists a whole bunch of items on there, um, health insurance, medical deductions, uh, interest on your home that you get to deduct, taxes that you've been having withholding on, and your real estate taxes and your car taxes now become available. On a typical return, you get a standard deduction. And that standard deduction is a fixed amount based on what you have on your return. If you're single, you get one amount. If you're married, you get another amount. Um, and owning a home is your key to opening up the Schedule A to have more deductions. So they say, can I afford this? And we can look at your income and run a budget, a quick budget, to see what your living expenses are as opposed to what that payment's going to be. What's that interest rate going to look like? What do interest rates look like before I buy the home? Um, questions I'll get is, I can pay rent. I'm paying rent right now, but I can't come up with the down payment. I don't have a down payment. Uh, an option that is out there that involves everybody on the table is if you're renting, maybe the person you're renting from will sell to you on a land contract. And that'll give you the opportunity to build up equity in your, in your home, in a home, that you can then go to a mortgage lender or a banker and then buy the home. Um, I had one very industrious client come to me and we had a conversation and it's like, well, you could buy a two-family home, and you can rent out the other half. So we worked through those numbers and showed what the rent would be and what deductions can occur from that. You can include the rent in your income, uh, deduct all the property taxes, your repairs and maintenance, depreciate a portion of the home, uh, your repairs, uh, your office supplies, your mileage, uh, those things are also includable on the Schedule E, so if you rent, you file a Schedule E. Uh, if that two family's been rented for a while and it has proof of income over time, I know that makes our mortgage and banker people feel much better that it has a history because there's tax returns that have been filed on that property to show that it has residual income. So when I sit down with people and talk about the buying process, it's best when it's in the beginning so we can discuss possible options if it's challenging for you to buy a home. 